Hello peeps and welcome back to the Age of Engineering. Alright, I did some work off camera. Not a whole lot of like actual construction work because I want to save most of that for on camera. But I did do a lot of mining and I did create the uh, nuclear radiation suit from industrial craft and put it on an armor stand right here because I am going to need it pretty soon. So I went ahead and did that. I also went ahead and built the slice and splice which I had down here. It's no different than the normal recipe. Just requires some sort of head, iron axe, shears, solarium, and a machine chassis. And I also have gone ahead and made some more empowered palace. And I made four more of these RF tools uh, machine frames, because we're going to need those. But we're going to need those in a little bit. The first thing I want to do is I want to get my power supplemented. Last episode, we went about making this refinery, which is now nice and chock full of biodiesel. Let's actually put some of it to use. We're going to make a diesel engine. Um, one thing I did do in order to kind of nullify the sound from all of this, I have a sound muffler hidden back here. So if you're wondering why you can't hear me walking close to the thing, that's why. Okay, so we need... First of all, let's put that away. And let's get my manual. We'll need my engineer's manual and my engineer's hammer. So, I need to make a diesel generator. Requires six steel scaffolding. Uh, I don't need that analyzer right now. I have eight, so that gives me plenty. It requires five fluid pipes. Uh, I have seven, so I've got plenty of that. It takes one redstone engineering block. Uh, I've got two, so we're good there. 13 heavy engineering blocks. This is painful. I only have one, so I need to make six more. These are crafted from pistons, a piece of solarium, steel, and steel mechanical components. So I need 12 more. I need 12 steel mechanical components. Eight and four is twelve. Need twelve pistons. To produce uh solarium. Need solarium. Pretty sure I was making some back here. I was. Good. That gives me my 13 heavy engineering blocks. It also burns up pretty much all of my steel, I think. Uh, yeah, we're getting pretty low on steel. I'm going to have to make some off camera. I do have some that I've been working on in here. Oh, actually, I've got a lot of steel. So, nothing to worry about there. Uh, who is texting me? Probably should not be checking text messages. Huh. Wonder what that was for. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's get to the next thing. Um, yeah. Generator blocks and radiator blocks. The generator blocks are... Where are you? They're made from steel, electrum, and kinetic dynamos, which is the thing that's connected to my water wheel over there. 
that thing. So, they're not too difficult to make. I've actually already made some. And the radiator blocks are steel, copper, around water buckets. So these are really easy to make. Consequently, I've already made a bunch of these too. That gives us everything we need to make one diesel generator. I am going to eventually make a second, but I wanted to start out with one. So, this is a 3x3. Three three. We're going to start... Actually, we're going to start from the back of it. How long is it? It's three, four... It's five long. So, we start off with a block of radiators in the back like that uh, and then it is fluid pipe down the middle and the let's get this stuff out of the way fluid pipe down the middle and steel scaffolding like that Then in the front, one generator block, two fluid pipes. The generator blocks continue here. Uh, where does the redstone block go? That's the part I need to know. Okay. The radiator or the redstone block goes right there. And then where do the last five of these go? One, two, three, four, five. Like that. Lots of text messages coming through. Professional YouTuber. Diesel generator. Get. Ha ha. Okay, the diesel generators take fuel in from these sides. They output power to the top. So, let's get us some fluid conduit. I'm just going to use pressurized fluid conduit because I won't need to pump stuff too fast. But we're going to go like that. You are set to extract. You are set to insert. Now, I'm going to want to have a lever to be able to shut this thing off. Really, I have no levers. So we'll put the lever on that. We'll turn that on. And let's see. If I set this to active without signal, this should very quickly fill up. It is, however, not on because this isn't powered. So let's go ahead and get some ender conduit. And we're going to connect this back through here. Get out of my way, butterfly. Sorry, butterfly. You got in my way. Oh, that's really not what I meant to do, but it works. Now, I don't need all three of those there. I'm mostly just doing it for looks. You only really need the one. Because this conduit 
pushes through 20,000 RF tick, and the diesel generator will produce 4,000. So I will need to get some conduit hiding stuff to put there, but this will give me a lot more power to be able to pump into this thing. Let's go ahead and recharge my quintuple battery. in order to drain some power out of this. Uh, there we go. And... Oh my god, that thing is loud. But, while it's running, holy RF! We're pulling in lots of RF a tick now. But jeez, is it loud. Okay, so... Let's pick up this sound muffler and put it... Like, here instead. That should help muffle the sound a little bit. Holy crap, or not. Um, well then, we'll have to figure out a way to muffle that. How are we doing for fuel? Oh, we're still full on fuel here. We did pull off a little bit of ethanol, it looks like, but I think we're good. All right, so that is part one of today's build. Part two, we need a way to transmit power remotely. I don't currently have a way to transmit power remotely, so we are going to find one. power cells. Specifically, I'm going to skip the simple power cell and just go straight to the regular power cell. Each one of these takes a machine frame, a diamond and an emerald, two prismarine shards, and four blocks of redstone. So we're going to need a total of eight blocks of redstone because I'm going to make two of these. We're going to need four prismarine, which is made from nether quartz. You just zap nether quartz in here, and bam, prismarine. That gives us two of these power cells. One I'm going to attach on the side of this capacitor bank. And it has just occurred to me that I need a way to set... First of all, let's take this out so I don't break shit. I need a way to change the side. Oh, set all sides to accept energy. That would do it. There we go. That has now stored one million RF. This is going to take power. But, as you can see, it's not doing anything. These have to be linked with these power cell cards. These power cell cards take a lot of shit. Yeah, this, this is what makes these expensive. It takes extreme energy re laser relays and Klein flasks. The extreme laser relays require advanced laser relays, plus empowered diamantine and some redstonia. The redstone is not a problem. Advanced relays take empowered anori and regular uh, regular laser relays. These take blocks of redstone, so we're going to need two more of these. Let's do it from here. An advanced coil, so we need a basic coil. And do I have any gold wire? Two pieces, not enough. We'll extrude two gold bars. That'll give us some more wire. And while these are extruding, I will go make the other thing that I need for this, which is the Klein flasks. 
The Klein flasks are two ender pearls, a glass bottle, and two en and a res and an en eh, and an ender resonator, which is solarium, silicon, an enderman head, and vibrant alloy. So we're gonna need four solarium, four silicon, an ender or two enderman heads, and we're gonna need some vibrant. So we'll pop the energetic and the ender pearl on there. That's going to give us our vibrant alloy. Good to go. And solarium, silicon, enderman head, vibrant. Starts processing. And ender resonator. Nice. And another. Awesome. So that is going to give me the two Klein flasks that I need to be able to do this. Now all I need is this cable that I was producing. So we'll take that, make the advanced coil, to make four energy laser relays, one of those to become advanced, actually two of those to become advanced, two of those to become extreme, and I need paper. I need paper. Also, I cut down my chestnut trees between episodes and started processing the seed oil from them. And it produces a ridiculous amount of chestnuts. The three chestnut trees that I cut down gave me like 10 and almost 11 stacks of chestnuts. So. It's pretty ridiculous. I am probably never going to have to want for seed oil. One, two power cell cards. In here, we drop a card. In here, we link Hmm. I can't remember how these work. Well, that's link ID 3 now. So, installed module. There we go. Link ID 3. That's how it works. And bam. These are now sharing power. This holds 2 million, because 1 million there, 1 million there. It's capable of 5,000 RF tick in and out. Which works about perfectly for what we're about to do. I want to start working on some heavy machinery. Specifically, I want the excavator. This is beyond my capability to make at the moment. But... We can get started with something to tell us where to dig. Uh, where is it? We need the thing that gives us a core sample. Uh, there we go, core sample drill. This takes some light engineering blocks, some steel fence, and some steel scaffold. So, not too bad. Um, I should already have the steel fence. Uh, I do. 
Um, I do need more of the steel engineering blocks. I'm going to need some more steel bars, I think. Let's replace this and one, two, three. Was working with some iron off camera. And we'll pop that back on. And steel scaffolding. There we go. Bunch of steel scaffolding. We'll throw that in there. Uh, how many light engineering? Perfect. No. Core sample drill get. Core sample drill is the reason why we need this thing right now. I want a way to be able to attach power to this thing remotely. Now, the core sample drill. You walk around, you put this thing down, and it tells you what minerals are in the area that you're in. Now, mineral veins work differently than just going around mining. Every chunk has a chance of spawning a type of mineral vein. The excavator digs up that mineral vein without actually digging up any of the ores from the ground. Think of it like, uh, think of it like uh, void mining. Except you can only get certain ores from certain places. Like, for example, if I hit F9 right now to bring up my chunk boundaries, this is a chunk. If I put down this core sample drill right here and I give it some power, and figure out how the damn thing works. Because I don't know how the damn thing works. Ow. What the hell? How did I take damage? Okay. Core sample drill. How do you work? You require power. I see that. But how do you get power? If not from this. Do I actually need to attach you to a cable? Let's, oh, I have, alright. Yeah, I already have my ender conduit, so. You output energy. Oh, that's how. I have to set the damn thing to output. And this thing will drill a core sample. Which I can then click on the thing and get the core sample. This particular core sample has no mineral. So there's no point in setting up an excavator here. It's not going to find anything. This changes by chunk. So if I were to walk into this chunk and do the same thing, I might find something different. Uranium. Holy crap, that's exactly what I was looking for. So, there is a uranium vein here. If we take a look at the heavy machinery section and look at the excavator, I don't have anywhere near the, the materials I need to make this thing, so I can't make this thing this episode. 
this is probably going to be next episode's baby. But if we take a look here, we can look at minerals. Bauxite is 100% bauxite ore. Cassiterite is 100% tin. Coal is 96.8% coal, 1.5% diamond, 1.5% emerald. So if you find a coal vein, you can get these three minerals from it. Copper is copper, gold, and nickel. Galena is a mix of lead and silver. Gold is gold, copper, and nickel. Iron is iron, nickel, and tin. Lapis is lapis and iron. Lead is lead and silver. Magnetite is mostly iron with some gold. Nickel is nickel, some platinum, and some iron. Platinum is platinum and nickel. Quartzite is both types of quartz. Silver is silver and lead. Uranium is uranium and lead. So this is 64.7% uranium ore and 35.3% lead ore. If I set the excavator down here, that's what I'm going to get. I'm going to get roughly 2 uranium per 1 lead. Let's take a look here. So what we got here. Yoink. Here, Galena. So this was lead and silver. Now, I'm not going to do much of my excavating in the overworld, I don't think. I might hit this one, because I want uranium. But I'm probably not going to do most of it in the overworld. I'm probably going to do most of it in the mining world. But having the ability to carry power along with me is very, very nice. Let's see, what else can I do this episode? I want to get an empowered emeratic crystal. Because I want to make a fishing net. The fishing net is string with an empowered emeratic crystal. If I'm going to make that, I may as well make a block of it. This requires a piece of cactus, green slime, cooked broccoli, but it also requires uranium-238. Which you get by running crushed uranium ore through a thermal centrifuge. This doesn't sound too difficult, except for the fact that uranium in this form is perfectly safe to handle. We put it in the centrifuge. And wait for it to process. Wait a while for it to process, unfortunately. Come on. That is going to give us a tiny pile of uranium-235, uranium-238, and stone dust. I am not going to take this stuff out right now, because this stuff is no longer safe to handle. This is refined uranium. It will give you a uranium poisoning side effect, which will pretty quickly kill you if you're not wearing protective equipment. Which is why I made the hazmat suit. With hazmat suit, I can carry this stuff. Without hazmat suit, I cannot carry this stuff. Uh, let's see here. I need a slime crystal. So we'll go ahead and cook you up. I need a piece of cactus. And what else did I need? Cooked broccoli. Which I already have in my inventory. Awesome. So, a green slime crystal 
uranium 238 cactus and a piece of cooked broccoli now all I need is the emeratic crystal to empower which means I need more emeralds figures okay well uh buddy boy over there will trade me for coal and iron oh I can I'm not carrying any uranium anymore am I no Hey, you. Really? You are going to be a pain in my ass, aren't you? Cold iron. Zirconium. Four diamonds? I can do four diamonds to get an emerald. Mithril. Yeah, I can do four diamonds. I've got plenty of diamonds. Shut up, nobody asked you, frickin' zombie. That'll have the side effect of resetting these, too. Well... Maybe. There we go. Now he's reset. Okay, well, whatever. That's enough anyway. Drop down here. Zap it. And zap it. 24 million RF later. And we'll have it. And I'm actually kind of impressed of, at the fact that I appear to be generating enough passive power to kind of almost keep up with it. Well, no, actually I'm not. Because now I'm losing 3,000 RF tick. So, it must have been line saturation. Alright. Uh, how are my calculator circuits doing? Oh, shit. Uh, I got a lot of stuff I need to analyze. Put that away for now. And we'll grab some of these. Actually, let's put a bunch of stuff away that I'm not going to need right now. We'll keep the power cell on me. I don't need the core sample drill because I'm going to go back and do that later. I can put the power cell away for now. Don't need the pressurized fluid conduit. Don't need the Ender Energy Conduit. Quintuple battery I'll put on my hotbar. And we'll grab some circuits and we'll see what we get from analyzing these. And nothing good so far. Shit. I need to come up with a better way to store this crap so that I can start automating this. What? Okay. 
That was a weird glitch for a minute. Oh, a hand crank generator. That's awesome. Not really. Stable, analyze, stable, you, 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 you. Stable, analyzed, hand cranked, enriched. You. Oh, look, a calculator. Oh, look, a reinforced iron axe. 64,000 RF in that one. Broccoli seeds. And another enriched axe. Uh, let's go ahead and pull the RF out of here. Can't even pull all the RF out. Okay, uh, let's see here. Fishing nets. Let's go ahead and do that to get it ready because we should be looking at our empowered emeratic crystal pretty soon. Yeah, we are burning off power quick. This would be a perfect time to kick on my diesel generator. Now we're sucking diesel. We're actually producing a net gain in RF because of the diesel generator. I'm not sure why I'm getting so much line fluctuation. By the way, in case you didn't know, you can shift right click these to change the display. So if I want to have this show me the total in out and this show me the power level graphically, you can do that. I don't know why it changes to disabled when you do that, but Hey, we're done! Empowered Emeratic Crystal Block gets me nine Empowered Emeratic Crystals, which gets me a fishing net. Need a chest. There we go. Now, I can bring the fishing net over here. And drop that. Say, right. No. Not there. Let's see. How do you do this? No, not like that either. Like that. And then we put you there. And over time, that should produce fish. It's not fast, but it's automated. And that's what I want. I don't care about fast. I care about, I don't have to come over here with a fishing rod and fish. That's what I care about. Anyway, so we actually got quite a bit accomplished this episode. But I do feel like it's time to wrap up. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Night Dagger with Age of Engineering. Um, next episode, we'll probably get into the excavator, depending on how much time I have to do mining and everything. I do have the weekend coming up, so I should have plenty of time to get caught up. Ooh, let's turn this off before we burn off any more diesel. And let's see how much diesel we've actually burned off. Holy crap, we haven't really burned any. We haven't burned any of our resources. Um, I can run a second generator off of this setup, I think. Or I can run one infinitely. Because this is self-sustaining. And holy melons. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm never going to have to worry about RF power, at least not in the early game. But 
Next episode, we'll probably get to work on the excavator so I can start getting a good supply of uranium fuel because we need to start severely boosting our EU production in order to start working with UU matter. This low voltage solar array, it has been very nice for what we've needed it to do, but I'm sorry buddy, you are outdated. It's time to go nuclear. But we need the fuel to support. We need the fuel to support that first, and we don't have enough. So that's what we're going to focus on next episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you like the video, and I'll catch you later, peeps.